Hey guys, welcome to your um, uh, bonus no contact reading for Gemini. This is gonna be for your October 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look at um, the person that you're in no contact with. If it's a good idea for you to uh, reach out to this person, apply this to your own unique situations. You may, you may switch the roles if you want. Could be a situation that, you know, the person that you're dealing with is wondering about you. So uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below um also if you guys are interested i already said that so gemini what messages do we have for, for gemini the person that gemini is in no contact with is it a good idea for gemini to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with for october october rest of october 2024 sun moon rising venus signs for gemini well the ace of pentacles here and the emperor here Perhaps it might be a good idea. Perhaps this emperor here is ready to build a life here with you. This person is really serious about a commitment and marriage here. Okay, we have the emperor Aries energy, the ace of pentacles here. We also have the ten of wands, okay? You know, I do feel like whoever this person is, you know, this person could also be carrying a lot around a lot of burdens. Maybe this person, you know, has released all their burdens here. This could be a situation where, you know, this person, you know, those burdens, you know, could have been in the way that was creating this block, creating this connection from not moving forward here. We have Temperance here, Sagittarius Energy. And we also have the Six of Cups. And yeah, I do feel like, you know, with the Temperance card and the Six of Cups here, I do get the sense that there's, uh, you know, someone here is missing you here. You know, I do feel like someone here is, seeing you in their head in their visions here you know i do feel like this person also wants to heal this here with you i also feel like this person doesn't want you to feel alone or that you know if this person made you feel very alone this person doesn't want to trigger your you know um uh uh uh, 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 uh trigger your triggers here let's say if your triggers have been triggered i feel like this person wants to find ways to alleviate that stress, that anxiety here, that fear of abandonment and loneliness here with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here. Aries, little side to cheer Ace energy. The Emperor and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Ten of Wands here, and also the Queen of Swords. Here is the thing here. If this Queen is you here, I feel like you don't want to talk to this person here. I do feel like this person's definitely heavily spying on you. I mean, this person's definitely going to rush back in to communicate here with you. To be quite honest here, Gemini, I feel like you guys are doing really well on your own. You know, with the Nine of Pentacles here, this is an indication here that you're financially independent, you're self-sufficient here, you're just focusing on your finances here, focusing on doing what you need to do here in order for you to have the best and happy, most fulfilling life that you can at this time here. Without this person in the picture here. With the Six of Cups here and also the Death card. Yeah, you know, so one of the things I'm getting here with the Six of Cups and the Death card here, you could be ending this situation with this person here because I feel like you guys are trying to focus on getting back on your own two feet here, getting back, back into a place where you guys are feeling like yourself and that you guys are really happy with where you guys are at or where you guys will be here okay so you know you might see this person as so, you so you might you might see this person as someone here who's getting in your way okay and that you're trying to free yourself from this individual here or that you just don't want to deal with this person's uh burdens or their problems here because perhaps you know you have bigger fish to fry here you know you gotta you, you're dealing with your own stuff here uh perhaps you want to deal with all your stuff before you get into a relationship with somebody here tell me the, uh tell me more about gemini what else does gemini need to know look out for work on for october 2024 sun moon rising venus signs for gemini 
what else do we need to know what will happen if there's any sort of contact here we have the chariot cancer energy we also eight of wands here yeah you know i do feel like someone here just feels really stuck here you know i feel like someone here needs to break free and also trying to find their independence here trying to overcome anything that you might have dealt with here that felt very uncomfortable or was feeling really uncomfortable here for you you know sometimes that five of pentacles could be a representation of financial uh lack here and that you guys are trying to overcome that we have the eight of wands here here. Okay, the Eight of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, that looks really good. So, you know, Gemini, it could be a situation that, you know, looking at yourself personally here, some of you guys could be experiencing some sort of good luck here where you guys are overcoming some sort of financial obstacle in that you guys are experiencing abundance here and wealth. Okay. And the four of pentacles. I mean, this could also be an indication that, you know, this person wants to reconcile because they don't want to let you go. You know, this person can't stop thinking about you here. You know, it could be, you know, also that with the chariot here, they feel like there's no way forward without you, right? So we have the chariot here. Why is the chariot here? The chariot and the two of cups here. Yeah, there's definitely a strong soulmate connection, a strong bond here. Okay, we have the eight of swords here and also the hangman Piscean energy. Eight of Wands here, and also the Nine of Swords. Okay, you know, I do feel like in this very moment here, some of you is definitely dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety here. You know, I do feel like some of you is definitely ha having a hard time letting go of their fears, letting go of their worries here. You know, I do feel like some of you is definitely losing a lot of sleep at this time. You know, I feel like some of you is laying, uh, laying, um, awake at night, just having a difficulty sleeping here because I feel like some here is dealing with a lot of pressure here, okay? Somebody is dealing with a lot of pressure here and I feel like what's happening is I feel like Gemini, you could be walking away, deciding to walk away from the situation to alleviate the pressure here. I mean, with the tens here, I mean, ten of swords, ten of wands, ten of swords, I mean, there could have been some sort of betrayal here, but with the tens here, you know, this could be an indication and also, also the death card here, this, this could be an indication that, you know, there's a cycle that's coming to a close, there's a cycle that's ending here okay uh, we have the three of cups here and also we have the page of wands here Aries little Sagittarius energy so you know I do feel like with the page of wands here you know some of you is definitely looking to reconcile here some of you is definitely having a hard time letting this go and I do feel like some of you is definitely you know in this energy of taking things very slow here and not rushing anything okay taking things slow not rushing here kind of like respecting your boundaries here too okay and you know allowing you to do what you need to do um so whoever this is you know i feel like you know one of the things i'm getting here is that you know you could be in this energy of like gemini you love this person in the way that you want good things in your life you know you you love them in a way that you know in order for them to be happy or in order for you to be happy you know you guys are setting each other free or that you're setting this person free here okay so that is true love here because you know true love here is not holding anyone back right you know is seeing a problem and finding resolution here okay in order for you to find your own happiness in order for this person to find their own happiness so you know i do feel like in the eight of cups here in the higher fend you know you could be coming to a realization that this might be a right thing to do is to walk away from this for now okay maybe in the future this can come back together again with the three of wands here okay so Gemini. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.